Hey guys, welcome to lesson four, what has never changed. This lesson in particular is very close to my heart because as a pointer, I think it's extremely powerful. It's extremely potent and it can, um, it can eradicate or transform a lot of your doubts right away. Your doubts about your essence, your natural state always already being available. So a big one of my concepts, which I'll explain a little bit more later on is the idea of always and already those two key words. So the discovery in this course is that we are always already present, that we always already exist, that we're always already free. So the word always is the focus of this particular lesson. So in it, I'll take you on a little journey into your experience of life and into your past experience so that you can start to see that there was something about you that never changed. And so even if you utilize the past, like images from the past memories, and you rewind them, you replay them, and you start to bring this present sense of consciousness to your memory of the past, you can start to notice that that same presence was actually underlying that same experience, that experience in the past as well. Even though in the past you may not have been aware of the presence consciousness that pervaded that experience, by simply going back there now with what you know now, with what you've learned in lesson one, two, and three, you can start to actually feel and sense that throughout your entirety of your life, there was something present there that never changed. And this is crucial. This is a fundamental realization that changelessness of being, the changelessness of presence consciousness is key because if you realize that presence consciousness is absolutely changeless, you also start to realize it's beyond time and space as we know it. And you start to realize that you're free always, that you, what you truly are, the fundamental essence of your being is always available for you. And not only that, but it's just what you are. It's what you are all the time and you can never escape it. So it also implies immortality. It also implies you start to get to actually taste, get a taste of eternity. And this may scare some people, but um, as you get used to the idea, it's actually very liberating because don't we all want to be immortal in a sense? Not with the same body, but we all want to taste. We all want to know. We all want to experience deathlessness. We all want to experience eternity. And we do and we will. There is eternity at the core of our being. Our being is eternal. And so to go back to memories or even project into future experiences, but just to take any experience you've had before or you project into the future and just to see that there will be or there was the same presence that's here now, it was present with you then and it shall be present with you in that future moment as well. This way you really confirm to yourself, you really start to experience the changelessness of being the undisturbed nature of presence consciousness. And so thoughts and emotions may arise. Beliefs may appear. Circumstances may arise. People may shout at you. Things may go haywire around you. The world may come to an end. Who knows? But you, as presence consciousness, will know that you are unaffected. You will know that something about you is completely 100% reliable, precisely because it has never changed. 